We are remembering FDNY firefighter Bob Beckwith, who died Sunday night. The 9-11 rescuer was pictured famously with President George W. Bush in this iconic photo at Ground Zero. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports Beckwith was retired when the terrorist struck, yet he did not hesitate to help search for survivors. The vision at Ground Zero brought tears to a grieving America. The president's arm draped around the shaking shoulders of retired FDNY firefighter Bob Beckwith. This nation stands with the good people of New York City. The image atop the rubble became an indelible part of the 9-11 legacy, resilient, unity. Bob Beckwith was really the man for the moment. I mean, this was when uh, America was at its lowest ebb. We've been devastated. And to have him stand with President Bush as a regular guy. Beckwith died of melanoma. The family home in Baldwin receiving a constant stream of visitors. I was a young man at that point, uh, but, you know, seeing that picture, it, it gives you the chills every time. He, you know, was truly a unifying figure for the average man. Their hero grandfather invited to the White House. They got to tag along. Through the years, Bob Beckwith invited us into his home, showing us the flag the president waved that emotional day. And then I was walking back to go to work, you know, uh, and uh, I got a tap on the shoulder by a Secret Service guy. And he said, the president's been looking for you. I said, what? He said, yeah, he said, he wants you to have this flag. So I said, wow, thanks. These were the days before cell phones. Beckwith said he had no way to contact his wife and kids, thinking they would never believe that he had been with the president. So when he turned onto his street, he was shocked to see a dozen reporters and a proud family waiting at the door. He, he was a very modest man, so, you know, it, he could have done a, a million things from that, from that moment at Ground Zero. But he didn't. He uh, turned down all sorts of offers, financial offers. Uh, he stayed in touch with President uh, Bush. Since then, Beckwith's mission was to help get 9 11 first responders the health care they need. 13 years since you stood on that pile with President George Bush. Yeah, yeah. Can you believe that? It's a long, it's a long 13 years, too, for a lot of the families. The hero among us, modest and humble to the end, was 91 years old. From the 9 11 memorial at Point Lookout, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The former president placed a call to the Beckwith family this afternoon. In a statement, Mr. Bush said that Beckwith's courage represented the defiant, resilient spirit of New Yorkers and Americans after 9 11.